Lucy, what is that terrible noise? That is George singing. <laughs> singing? Huh? Yes, it's his bathroom baritone. Not only is he tone deaf, but he never gets the words right. Listen. See what I mean? <laughs> Just a minute. George, will you please be quiet? My mother is on the telephone. What's wrong? Can't she afford an armchair, then? <laughs> you are young. Not particularly, but I don't think it's going to take very long. How disgusting. All right, sorry. Good evening, mother-in-law. George! It's all right. I'm, if you think I'm half-cut, mother-in-law, you're wrong, because I'm totally cut. George, will you... I'm going to celebrate Independence Day, so stuff that in your engagement book and smoke. George! Oh, George. It's all right, Mother. Must it's all right. Are you all right? Yes, of course I am. Hi. It sounded as if he was half killing you. He's just been drinking. Oh, good heavens, I've never heard such a noise. How long's he been an alcoholic? Since his stag party, roughly. Sing Lucky, lucky me Shut up, I'm drinking. <laughs> Oh, hello, ma'am. Your father and I just wanted to know what had happened. We couldn't get you at the office. Uh, today was the day, wasn't oh, it? Oh, the decree, absolute. Absolutely right, ma'am. And it went through absolutely without a hitch. You divorced? But when I spoke to you yesterday... Yeah, I know, I did have uh, hopes, ma'am, but they were, they were cruelly dashed, you know. Like so many of my other hopes have been cruelly dashed. Well, I hate to remind you, but your father and I never really fancied Susie, did we? Dad did. Just laughing through my tears, ma'am. How dare you insult my mother? Who's that? It's Susie. I think she's been drinking, ma'am. Now listen to me. <laughs> I don't want to see you again, or hear you again, or have anything whatsoever to do with you again, ever. She has been drinking. Yeah. We are finished. Totally finished. And to prove that I mean what I say, here's something I should have done two years ago. Take that! Oh! George, what happened? George! It's, uh, I'm all right, ma'am. What happened? Nothing. Did she throw something at you? Yeah, but don't, don't worry about it, ma'am. Well, are you hurt? George! Just, just a bit dazed, ma'am. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, I'm going to make myself a nice, a nice strong cup of tea, love. Well, look, you'll ring us later. Yes, yes, all right, ma'am. And George, remember your bedroom is always ready for you. Oh, well, that's a great comfort, that, ma'am. Well, bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. Love, love to Dad, Mum. <laughs> Don't think you're the only one who can make the grand gesture, because you're not. <laughs> not by a long chalk, you know. It's a fine bloody ring you gave me, isn't it? <laughs> it's bloody shrunk! George. I've tried it so many times before. Now look, this morning happened and we can't turn the clock back, so try and consider my feelings, would you, and try and see that, that what I'm doing is the best thing for both of us. Yes, all, all right, I'm sorry. Well, if you want any help, George, I'll give it to you, but please try not to ask because, because it doesn't make things any easier. So, yes, I won't, I, I won't ask any more. Thank I? you, George. Oh, that's marvellous. Bacon up for me, could you? <laughs> You're right, you know, I was, uh, I, I was trying it on just now. Well, not completely, because the, the memories are genuine. I mean, they, they mean a lot to me, don't they? They mean a lot to me, George. That's trouble. Yes, I know, I know they do. So don't remind me anymore, sorry, will you not? Know? Sorry. And in answer to an earlier question, no, I don't cook kebabs and spare ribs anymore, because just the 
Smell of the next one. Mother, have you thought that when you came in just now, I was crying? Oh, so you were, darling. I wonder why. Well, could it be anything to do with the fact that my marriage ended today? Oh, nonsense, Susie. Now, I think that I ought to rush back and you ought to pop in and see if George is comfortable. But for less than an hour ago, you were telling me that you thought we weren't... We were always unsuited. Well, I don't know what... I was in a state. And he shouted at you down the telephone. Well, he was in a state. Oh, we are divorced. Oh, darling, perhaps it's all to the good. <laughs> you know what the song says. Love is lovelier the second time around. <laughs> George, what Mom? happened? Nothing. Well, what happened? Hello, Dad. Oh, I knew we were right to come down. I said so, did I? Is did... this what she did when she threw something at you? No, no, listen. Oh, don't try to shield her, George, you poor boy. Living next door to an alcoholic. Is she there now? Dad, you just go right down there and give her a piece of our mind. Oh, yes, but... No, uh... you'll be no good. How dare she? Now, just a minute, Matt, will you? Oh, son, you think you got problems? <laughs> Help yourself, Dad. Yes, sir. You assault my son. Dora! I bet it to the two of you as well. Well, I'll tell you this. I am phoning the police station now and laying charges for assault and battery. Mrs. Bassett, Mrs. Bassett, please don't rock the boat. What do you mean? The boat's already been rocked and my son <laughs> fell out. <laughs> accidents. George told me so himself. Accidents. Rubbish. And my daughter was good enough to drive him to the hospital on both occasions. Two accidents in one evening. Yes, and they may have been blessings in disguise, Mrs. Mother. Bassett. Blessings! Yes, when I came in here, Susie was cooking George's supper. No. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them were in there, a picture of domestic harmony just like the early days. You don't say. I do. Oh, Susie dear, why don't you pop next door and see if George is ready for his sweet? He didn't ask for a sweet. Oh, he always liked his fruit as a boy. Oh, and those sticky puddings. Oh, jam roly-poly. And streetle tarts. Oh, spotted dick. It's funny <laughs> so spotted dick. Excuse me. Oh, Susie, love, will you tell Eric to pop round here as well? Oh, is Eric with you? Yes. Oh, how nice. A real family get It's together. not before time. Oh, for heaven's sake, sit down, Eric. You met the place on Tidy. <laughs> ah, there oh. we are. Dora. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I don't want to count our chickens, Dora, but it does seem to me that a little posh from us in the right direction. Don't worry, I know what to say to George, mm -hmm. eh, Dad? <laughs> and Susie always takes notice of me. Well, what do you suggest, Dad? We're talking. Well, I think of all those things that I said on the telephone about George. What about George? Oh, dear, the damage I might have done. I can hear myself saying them now. What about George? You thought she might have done better for herself, did you? What? No. no it seems to me you've said something like that before. Oh, no, 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 no. Before the wedding? Well, that was years ago. Elephants and Dora Bassett. Don't forget. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't been putting your oar in right through the marriage. How dare you? Oh, be quiet, Mother. Well, she has just admitted, saying on the phone this very evening... And what did you say on the phone this very evening? Dad. You told George we never liked Susie. I beg your pardon. Wait till I get you home. <laughs> what do you mean, you never liked Susie? Well, all right, we didn't like her at first. Well, you didn't like her tonight. And how dare you tell me not to put my oar in? What about your oar? Well, you ask me... She's in proof since she got married. Susie, will you bear me out? Have I or have I not always hoped that you and George would be reconciled? Yes, Mum, but... And I have never put my oar in, have I? Oh, From the very beginning she said that Susie married beneath her. She's mixed it right from the start. Mrs. Bassett, please don't talk like oh, that. Oh, don't you get so high and mighty, Miss. You threw something at poor George this evening. Yes, but it was only a ring and it missed. Now, let's not say any more well, about... Well, let her say what she likes. She's been saying what she likes all the evening. Oh, she can say what she likes against me, George. No, she? of yes, course not. She so. kept her mouth shut just and for what one... about your mother? Why doesn't you take a leaf out of your father's book? Yeah, well, I think... Oh, be quiet, <laughs> I'm just saying don't insult my mother, Dad. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm not going to sit here and let her insult my mother. Well, I... get her out of the house, then. Oh! Sh Susie, I didn't start this. No, I know you didn't. Well, are you suggesting I did? All I know is that he insulted my mother over the telephone tonight. Now, he must have learnt the art from somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry, George, but I never did see eye to eye with that woman. Okay. 
Okay, and you know I wouldn't do anything to spoil things for you. Susie, you know I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. No, I know you wouldn't. But I can't bear to leave you here. I think you should come home with me now. All right, I will. Good. Your father and I will look after you. Is there anything you want? No, thanks. How about no. a nice cup of coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make some and then perhaps you'll change your mind. Dad, put the kettle on. Oh, <laughs> I saw how that Susie spoke to you this evening. Well, there isn't one ounce of warmth or affection in her whole body. <laughs>